Hey folks, this is just a really super quick, super easy guide to getting the type that you've drawn on your paper into the digital world. So to start off with, you want to take the photo that you've just taken and open it in Photoshop. The process from here is really quite easy. All you do first is using Command Shift U, you desaturate the image and add a brightness and contrast layer above it. What we want to do is essentially using our eye, we can do it however we see fit. We want to get this so that the, the type is isolated from the background as far as black and white is concerned. So tick use legacy. I don't really know why it just seems to make it work better. And boost for starters, boost up the contrast. This way you're getting the paper to be as white as possible and the text to be dark. Now the text doesn't actually have to be completely black, but we do need the paper to be completely white, otherwise we're going to get it little bits of remains. So boost up the brightness there as well. And when you start seeing these little flecks of the paper texture in the type, that if, if you want this, it's actually quite desirable, it can look kind of cool. Because what we're going to end up with is anywhere that's white is going to be transparent and anywhere that's black is going to be solid pixels. So I'm sort of going to adjust it about there, maybe boost up the contrast a little bit more. If you boost up the contrast too much, you're going to get crusty edges on your image, which you don't really want either. So I reckon that's probably looking about good. Now at this point, I actually use an action, and this is going to be my next video. Um, but for now, let's do it the longer way, um, so I can show you how to do it. And then in the next video, I'll show you how to pop it into an action, which makes it really quick and easy. Actually, gosh, it's been so long since I've done it without an action, I better make sure I remember how to do this. So, once you're at this stage and you're happy with how your type is looking, you double click on your background layer there and turn it into a normal layer that you can work with. Now, what we want to do is combine the layer zero and the brightness and contrast layer. Use Command E to merge these layers. So now we've got one flat layer here. Use Command A or Control A to select all and command or control C to copy and then command or control D to deselect. So now what we've got, we've got this whole layer copy and so hit a new layer, go down to this one and delete it. So we're left with a nice blank canvas. Now this is the tricky, well not the tricky part, it's just the key to the whole thing. What we want to do is enter something called quick mask mode. Now a lot of you might already know about this. In fact, this is a process you might already know, but if you don't, then bonus, this video is for you. All right, so hit Q to enter quick mask mode, and that's when you want to paste. See how it's come up in red there? That means that hopefully all the white around here has been knocked out, and you're left with just your type. So hit Q again to exit quick mask mode. Now you're left with your selection. Now at the moment, if I reset my palette down here using X and use Command Delete to fill that, we can see that it's actually the pixels are filling the black area. So undo that. And um, we want to invert the selection so that the type is black and the rest is blank. So to do that, you just hit Command Shift I or Control Shift I, you know the deal for PCs. And um, do that same thing again, Command Delete to fill that with pixels. And now we've got what we want. Use Command D again to deselect and head up to Trim, get rid of the unnecessary pixels around there, save it out. And you're done. Now I'm going to save it over here as isolate type, um, whatever spelling. I can worry about that later. Um, so that's pretty much done. Now, I mean, this is kind of part of another tutorial, to be honest, but we'll make a quick document. Heavens. Bloody Max. I was raised on PC, so I'm still getting the hang of it now. With 800, whatever. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to give you an example. Let's pop it on a cheeky photo. We might as well. We'll combine two tutorials in one. How about that? Um, let's see. What have we got? Doesn't really matter. This will do. So let's. Uh, we'll just do that. This is just going to be a bit of a crusty demo, just so you get the idea. So now that you've got your new document with a photo or whatever you want, it doesn't have to be a photo, but this is just an example. You go back to your, where have I got it? Oh, you're all going to see my Dropbox. General type. No, it's not. It's in tutorials. Here we go. Isolate type. There we go. So you fetch your, your PSD that you just saved out and save it over. I mean, this looks pretty bollocks because I've not done it properly, but hey, there we go. 
Uh, it's a bit better, at least it's clear now. So as you can see, we've knocked out the background from our type and we're left with just this. Now I might knock this back to, not, not gradient, color. You know, select one of the colors in here, obviously just black and white in this case. And there you go. That's it in a nutshell. We've taken a photo of some type we've done on our paper. We've brought it in using Dropbox or your cable with your phone, whatever you've done. Take the image, do the process we just described there, and Bob's your uncle. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email me at hello at dvclmn.com, and I'll be glad to help you out. Have a good one, guys.